Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is D'Angelo, aka Darth Mexican from The Geek Life, that is The Geek L-Y-F-E. Although you probably know that since you're on our YouTube channel watching this video, but just in case you didn't, there you go. So the reason I'm making this video is because we recently interviewed a wonderful cosplayer by the name of Dust Bunny Cosplay. Sorry that the mic is like showing here. We met her at Kanichiwa 2017, and while there, I was kind of blown away and a bit starstruck because for those that don't know, Dust Bunny Cosplay has been a very big inspiration of mine. Now, granted, I'm not a cosplayer. Granted, I'm not a cosplayer. I write about cosplay, and I very much appreciate the culture. And Dust Bunny Cosplay has been one of those people that has really inspired me to uh, write about different events in the cosplay community. One of these reasons is due to the fact that cosplay kind of exploded from different cosplayers who used costumes that were a bit more revealing than others. Uh, some examples for this are, of course, the most famous, Jessica Negri, and Yaya Han, and Ivy Doom Kitty, and a bunch of other ones. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I have an absolute 100% complete respect for all of those cosplayers because they are wonderful in every way. However, um, a stigma had grown about cosplay by people who weren't really in the community that you had to dress in a certain way in order to get the views and the money and everything that came along with being like cause famous as it's called. However, there are other cosplayers in the community, whether they be male or female, whether they dress in full body armor or paint or what have you that have done spectacular and I want to cover them because no one's really talking about them or at least not enough people are talking about them. So Dust Bunny Cosplay was one of those cosplayers that, that was in that sort of category for me where She's proven time and again that if she wanted to do a social cosplay, she can do it no problem at all. However, she doesn't have to do that kind of cosplay. And when she does it, and she chooses to do like a long flowing dress of a Pokemon or an anime character, it's beautiful. Drop dead gorgeous beautiful. And it's really inspiring to see someone go and take that extra effort to put so much time and care into a costume and for it to go spectacularly well. Granted, at the same time, even though her fans, like me, and some other people do really appreciate it, not enough people, I feel, see it and appreciate it enough, so I wanted to um, cover that. So she's been a major inspiration for me for even starting The Geek Life, because she was one of the cosplayers that I really looked up to. It was a great experience getting to meet her, because I was really, like, nervous, and I've met other cosplayers in the past. A lot of them are very wonderful, and some of them, I don't know if I caught them on in a very exhausted day, or time, or maybe just that that was just a personality, but it was very rough around the edges with some people. But I am so glad to say that Dust Bunny Cosplay was just so kind and wonderful in every way, and she took the time to actually talk with us, and then did our interview, which our uh, interview was funny because, um, for Lava Shadow Cosplay, or Jackie, the one that, that actually helped me with it, um, it was her first time doing an interview because she started doing interviews with us. And we weren't, we didn't have it scheduled for having Dust Bunny Cosplay be, be one of the interviews that she was gonna do. But like, I saw her there and I was like, oh my God. So I asked her and then she was like, yeah, hey, of course. And I was like, and I didn't think, I didn't think about anything, but I was like, uh, yeah, Jackie, you're gonna do, you're gonna interview Dust Bunny Cosplay. And she's like, okay. Uh, and you can see like how nervous she was in the video. What kind of toothpaste do you use? One, because she was also a fan of Dust Money Cosplay. And two, because it was her very first interview. Uh, and after the interview she like admitted that she forgot some of the questions and she was kind of lingering or whatever, but it's fine, it's completely fine. I am envious though that I didn't get the chance to interview Dust Money Cosplay. So one day in the future I definitely want to do another interview with her and ask her some questions that are just like burning on my mind and I just really want to get to know so it was a great experience getting to meet her and I'm sorry if I rambled in this video but I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much to Dust Bunny Cosplay for not only doing the interview with us not only being a fantastic cosplayer but more so at the core of her being just being a wonderful person in general like it's so rare to see that much talent and beauty and kindness and smarts and everything wrapped into one person and that's definitely Dust Bunny Cosplay and you don't if you don't follow her I highly recommend that you do because she is just worth every bit of the news feed that she appears on whether it's Facebook or Instagram or whatever you follow her on she will completely entertain you in every way so I want to say thank you again to her like I really legitimately um, appreciate everything she's done whether it's now or when she started she's really been a positive influence in this community and I'm so proud to be able to say that we got the chance to interview her so 
Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate you taking time to watch this. Thank you again to Dust Bunny Cosplay. Uh, her information is listed down below. Same with um, Love of Shadow Cosplay. If you want to actually check out the interview with her, we have it uh, on our channel. So be sure to check that out as well. And uh, thanks again. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.